the Kinlock Ray Chase is next is a grade two. And we've got quite a big field for this one. Let's take a look at the full list. Two and a half miles the distance, and Corletto Pertico is at the top for Darren Thompson. Gold Coast, Kevin Minahan, Mirza and Nubis, Graham Clutterbuck, the Long Pause, Joshua Sutherland, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, Cleveland Treasure, Vinnie Gerard, Loyal Alley, Leon Van Rensburg, Putin Delight, Vinnie Gerard, Return of Saturn, Craig Beck with seventh brother, Marty Liam, Swain Forkbeard, Leon Van Rensburg, The Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, The Ringer, David Robertson, Modine, Alex Cherry, Northern Life, Kevin Minahan, and Rose of Darkness. For Padre Hogan is a debutant, and 16 of them facing the starter and away, making their way towards the first of the fences in this King Lock Bray chase. And Gold Coast for Kevin Meenham looks like he's going to be the early leader, although Mirza and Nubis for Graham Clutter looks like he's got designs on the lead as well. They all get over the first OK, and they've got 12 more to take after that one. And Mirza Renewis appears to have temporarily at least won the battle to lead. Gold Coast is second. Wide on the track, Putin Delight is just about third. And Loyal Alley, also wide on the track, is seventh brother. And towards the back, the newcomer Rose of Darkness on the rail is probably just a back marker alongside Kevin Meenahan's Northern Life. So Kevin Meenahan virtually top and tail in the field as they get over the second. And Gold Coast just about put its nose in front from Mirza and Nubis in second the long pause is now third Putin Delight move more to the inside is now fourth then the Overlord and the Ringer and then Swain Fortby and the seventh brother and Loyal Ally and then Caulfield as they take that ditch which was fence number three and Gold Coast and Mirza and Nubis stride for stride battling each other for the leaders they get into the fourth all safely over the fourth with Putin Delight five lengths back in third and the Joshua Sutherland pair, the long pause and the overlord. Seventh brother a little wide on the track is next with on the inside rail Swain Forkbeard. And second of Leon's horses is next to that one and that's Loyal Alley as they get over that one. Swain Forkbeard was a little bit slow. The leading pair are oh, setting a decent clip. And Murder and Nubis on the outside of Gold Coast leads him by probably half a length. Gap of four or five then back to the overlord and seventh brother. And then Putin Delight in the long pause. The ringer is after that. Loyal Alley on the inside of that one. Modine's also now making a forward move. So to his ring of Saturn. And towards the back, Northern Life and Rose of Darkness are still the back two. And over the sixth, they go. Good jump there by Gold Coast. Sort of get into the lead momentarily at least. Mirza and Nubis fighting back on the outside. Past the winning post then. One circuit to go. And that's just a little over 10 furlongs. And it's Mirza and Nubis who leads by half a length to Gold Coast in second. Gap of five then back to the Overlord in third. Seventh brother is fourth. And then Putin Delight is five. And a long pause is six. Then comes Swain, Fortbeard and Modine. Loyal Alley next. Cleveland Treasure getting a bit closer. Then Ring of Saturn and the Ringer. Corletto Pertigo is now coming wide on the track as well. As they get over the seventh. And suddenly the leading pair are being swamped by the pack and the Overlord has moved into second place overtaking Gold Coast but Mirza and Nubis is still in front by about a length to the Overlord in second. Gold Coast still appears to be going well in third. Swain Fortbeard is four and seventh brother is five. Then after that comes Lorna and Pusion Delight and then the long pause and then Corletto Pertico as they get over fence number eight. Rows of Darkness just beginning to find the pace a little bit hot and Ring of Satins also dropped towards the rear but it's the Overlord who's now taking the lead. The Overlord who's gone on from Mirza and Nubis on the inside. Swain Fortbeard looks to have a good keen hold on that one. The jockey's got plenty of horse underneath him I think. Then Gold Coast then Lorna and then Seventh brother who's just dropping back a bit. Cleveland Treasure is now making a forward move as they get over fence number nine and then all over that one. Okay, with Mirza and Nubis now being driven on the rail to retain that lead. Half a length off on the Overlord who possibly just had to snatch up there on the turn. They get it over this ditch now. That's the tenth. They've only got three more to take now and it's the Overlord and Mirza and Nubis by two to the Leon Van Rensburg pair. Long and Alley and Swain Fortbeer. Then comes Long Pause and Corletto Pertico. Over to third. Last they go. And the Overlord's gone for home. Mirza and Nubis looks like he might be beaten. Corletto Pertico starts to run around the outside and now comes through to challenge for the lead with just two more fences to take. It's the Overlord from Corletto Pertico. Over the second last. The Overlord jumps in better and he's in the lead by about a length and a half from Corletto Pertigo in second. Then comes Mirza and Nubis. Long and Alley's trying to run on. So is the long pause. Swain Fortby at his neck. The ringer's also trying to get into it, but he's got a lot to do as they race down towards the final fence. And it's the Overlord 
in the lead by two. Now Coletto Puertico is under strong pressure and looks as though it might be beaten. Swain Fort really starting to run on. The Overlord comes down towards the final fence with a two length lead. It's the Overlord in the lead. Swain Fort being second. Surely between these two over the last thing. Oh, better jump by the Overlord. And the Overlord's clear. Swain Fort being is trying to close and long pause is running on, but they're not going to get to the Overlord. And the Overlord wins it. Swain Fort being second. Then long pause and Coletto Puertico and Lloyd Allen. Gold Coast and Impusion Delight in the ringer and ring of Saturn. And all the way back to Modine, who was the last one to finish. But it's a win for the Overlord. Pretty comfortable win in the end. The big guns firing at the top end of the race there. And the Overlord takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Swain Fortbeard for Leon van Rensburg second. The long pause, Joshua Sutherland again was third. Coletto Pertico for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Loyal Alley for... Leon van Rensburg was fifth, and the top trainers really mopping up in that one.